Okay, today we're going to look at some uh, linear equations, we're going to solve them. These are two-step linear equations, which means you need to do two operations to find the value of x. Yeah, they're all x, sometimes it's y or whatever, but today we're, all, we're doing it with x. So let's have a look at the first question. It is 5x plus 35 equals 0. And I guess the most important thing with any of these things is you have to remember that that equals sign is the most powerful thing in that equation. It means that what's on the left and what's on the right are of equal value. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side, otherwise it's no longer true. So if I want to get x here by itself, I need to get rid of that 35 and I need to get rid of that 5. Now the 5 is being multiplied by it and then the 35 is being added on afterwards. So we work backwards and we get rid of the 35 first. So if we're adding 35 on this side, we need to get rid of it by taking away 35. And if we're taking away 35 there, like I just said before, that equal sign is king. So we have to take away the 35 on the other side as well. And, you know, this kind of a notation where I'm writing the little things above it might not be, um, you know, the, the accepted best practice or whatever, but I find that it helps for me. So I've got a positive 35 and a negative 35. They cancel each other out, and I'm left with 5x being equal to negative 35, because 0 take 35 is negative 35. Now, if you're good at your times tables, and you should be, you know that 5 goes into 35 seven times. We've got positive 5 here. If it was going into uh, 5 multiplied by x equals negative 35, so we'd expect the x is going to have um, the value of either plus or minus 7. If it was positive 7, that would have to be positive 35. So this x here must be negative 7. And really what we're doing here is I'm just going to divide that side by 5, divide that side by 5. If I do that, those 5s cancel, and I'm left with x being equal to negative 7. Now I've done the full working there, but like I said, you know that 7 and 5 go into 35, so you should be able to work that out just by inspection. Looking at the second question, the second question's got um, a few more negatives in it, so let's have a look at that just as another example. Uh, we've got 4x take 5 being equal to negative 17. Similar structure to over here, I'm going to get rid of that negative 5 because that's happening to the x after the multiplication, if we think about bod mass. So I'm um, going to add it to both sides. So if I add 5 here and if I add 5 over there, then I can cancel out those 5s. Then I'm left with 4x being equal to negative 17 plus 5. Don't get yourself into a knot with negatives, okay? You need to really visualise where that number is on a number line, and then you need to either add or subtract, add, either add to or subtract from it. So negative 17 on a number line is, you know, way over there to the left, okay? So if we're at negative 17 and we're adding 5, we're going to be going towards 0. So we're going to be at uh, negative 12. Again, we're at a stage now where you should be able to solve that by inspection. 4 times something equals negative 12. We know that the factors of 12 are 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So 4 times negative 3 would equal negative 12. So x is negative 3. And I could have done the working out like I did over here by dividing both sides by 4, but the answer is going to be the same. Then in this last one over here, it's a, still a linear equation. Um, it would still make a line if I were to graph that. That's why it's called a linear equation. But uh, you can see it's just set up slightly differently. It doesn't matter if the x is on the left over here or if it's on the right. We, just, we still have to follow the same steps to find out what the x is going to be. So uh, I've got a negative 3, I've got a 2x, and I've got a 9. I've got to get rid of that 9 first. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. Subtracting 9 because that's a positive 9. So negative 3, take away another 9, is going to take me down to negative 12. And that's going to be equal to 2x because they cancel out. Again, 2 times something is negative 12. x is going to be equal to negative 6. All right, so those are the that's the basics really. If you're just new to this kind of thing, that might be a bit tricky. If you're a year 10 student, that should be pretty much your bread and butter by now.